the home debut of the players Celtic believe will consolidate their effort to regain the title. Roy Keane was part of a crushing anti-climax last week for the club. Today, there's huge support expect to see the right stuff in his new colours. Celtic have rung the changes and it looks likely that Keane will play at the back in a defensive role allowing Petro to complement Lennon in midfield with Zorowski accompanying Hearts and up front. Kelly come here way down by the historical fact that they haven't uh, won at Celtic Park in almost 51 years. They have one change from the cup side last week. Gordon Greer is out. Gary McDonald comes into the side. On the chance of Kino, Kino have been ringing round the stadium even before the player came onto the park. It reached uh, a crescendo there. But they kill it on the attack immediately with that shot there by Stephen Naismith, who I think, if he's on form, could be a real nuisance to this Celtic defence. And I'm sure there'll be a keenness, but we'll talk that expression, uh, about the Celtic attack today after what happened last week. Zaraski, who didn't play particularly well last week. Well, who did in the Celtic side, to be honest? And to Hartson. Tantrop has fouled as he was pulling the trigger. That's of course, in uh, contract negotiations, which has caused concern. There he is. Maloney hovering near it as well. of that, he was determined for the one go to try, as I said, he didn't play particularly well last week, this is the way to come back. That's a bad ball, there's a run forward, there's still an attack, brilliant save by Bullet as Nish came in from the far side. Excellent attack there by Kilmarnock. There's a tackle, tried to sweep it away, didn't quite get hold of the ball there. Could have been penalised for that, but Boric making a fine save. Good play by Zoraski again. Evidence of good understanding. Maloney did that brilliantly, the final ball not good enough. Play to the side. Failed for the penalty kick, it is. Petro brought down. No hesitation from the referee. So does Maloney. 15 minutes of the game gone. Celtic already one up. And here we go. 2-0. Simply done. And Kamanaka rocking. a lot of the ball so far, Stephen Naismith. Oh, that's good play by Johnson. That's the play I'm talking about. Relax a little bit of pace. And that's a penalty kick, I think. And this is what the referee sees looking back across there, the tackle by McManus. And he points immediately to the spot, the penalty for Kilmarnock. And that's Sir Kelly back in the game at 2-1 through Stephen Naismith. Moving the ball about well, Kelly again. Gary Wales. Wales puts it through. Here's Naismith, brilliant tackling there by three. And that's down, and that should have been finished by Naismith. game that we thought might be over after 15 minutes has turned out to be more competitive. With uh, Kamara coming back, not only getting that goal uh, through the, the penalty that McManus conceded, but um, playing well, playing good football, but here's Hartson. Very cool play by Hartson. Nakamura brilliantly saved.
by Hearts and again winning the battles in the end this early part of the second half. Good positioning by Maloney, thought they were close around them. Zaraski in again, Kroon comes to the rescue. But I think he was offside. Well, Celtic have been full of that incisive running, particularly off the ball. And again, that was an example of it, Zaraski coming up. Okay. Difficult one for Telford to do, and I think I thought the referee was pointing initially to a corner kick. That's a decent ball, and they're invincible. The equaliser out of nothing, and a superb cross that really took on the Celtic uh, defence. Look at it. Played in there by Hay with that glorious uh, left foot of his. And the Australian rises up to put Kilmarnock on equal terms. Good running by Maloney, who's got that pace over 10 yards, which is crucial against a, a tight defence. Nakamura, glorious, he's going to let Red know. There's a shot, too many players in front of Petrov. Good ball in there, the goalkeeper almost swapped. And then it's on the line again, and Kuhlman is pushed away. He couldn't hold it. There's the ball played in, and watch it coming in. And it's poked over the line once again, McManus. Uncompromising player, and Celtic are back in the lead. Lonnie might let fly, he does! And there was a deflection, there might have even have been, the, the goalkeeper certainly got a touch. We'll see here a little more clearly. Here's Wales, Invincible is very slow taking off after that, but he'll get it. And Boric has no problem! <laughs> yeah. One stick and run out of my mouth. It seems so simple. And he fluffed it. Wallace has it. Wales is with them. Ball still in play, and that's it! No! Been put in, I think it has, yes. Zaroski got the touch. Great play by Wallace, but complaining that the ball had not gone over the line. Long and high, nobody can get near it. Referee looks at his watch and ends the game. A thoroughly entertaining match. Celtic deserves winners by four goals to two. The handshake there, but I'll tell you what, they were taken all the way in a match that had a lot of style to it. And uh, there's a man of tooled back, uh, Kamarik. But no question, Celtic, the deserved victors. The final score, Celtic four, Kamarik two.